my name is Dana, and today I'm gonna to be showing you some lightsaber spins. So maybe you're working on your Jedi costume for a cosplay, or maybe you just wanna be able to do some really cool lightsaber tricks. I'm gonna show you how to do a few. Now, if you don't have a lightsaber, that's okay. I got this dowel rod at a craft store, and they are excellent for practicing with. And you can paint them to look like your lightsaber, or you can just use it to practice with while you're waiting to get your really cool lightsaber. So we're gonna start with a real easy, basic spin to start with. The first one is called a forward spin, and you just spin your lightsaber forward like that. And it looks like this. And you can hold on, but it's easier when you start spinning if you're holding with these two fingers. All right, so then you can just go like that. And you hold your lightsaber like this, and it spins better. All right, so there's your forward spin. Now we'll do the backward spin, which is pretty much the same thing, but you just spin backward. And it looks like that. So you've got forward and backward. All right. Once you've got your forward and your backward spin, you can work on your X spin. So basically that's just forward spins on either side of your body. All right, looks like this. So that's an X spin. You've got your forward spin and you can go real slow to start. Everything is much better if you start slow and then work up to fast. So there's your X spin. So we've got a forward spin, backward spin, and an X spin. All right, now those are your easy basic spins. I'm gonna show you something that's a little more difficult. It is called an Obiani spin. So you start with your forward spin, and then it comes back behind your back, flips up, you cross in front of your body, and then back. I know that looks super complicated. We're gonna slow it down. So you go like this, and then back. Now, to so, forward spin, right? Forward spin, you pull it behind your back. What you're essentially gonna do is pull it across your waist like this. So like imagine you had a sword on your back and you were pulling your sword, all right? So you go forward spin behind your back like this. You pull it across your body, flip it up, forward spin, and we're back, all right? So forward spin, pull it behind your body, pull it like a sword, pull it across your front, forward spin. So when you start getting better with it, essentially the motion at your back, instead of pulling like this, you flip it up like this and pull it. So you have to have pretty flexible wrists and it takes a lot of practice. So you forward spin behind your back, pull it across your body in the front, flip it up, forward spin and back. So once you get going, you flip this part up. So that's all in the wrist, right? Flip it up, pull it across, forward spin, back. So once you get your flow, this is what it looks like. So this motion here is the tricky part. You flip it up, you're still having that pull motion, pull it across, forward spin. So once you get up to speed, you can work your hips in, and that gives it that makes it even easier when you can move your hips with it because it helps the whole thing flow across your body. So once you've got your tricks down, you're ready to show off. Yeah. 